what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these designer lv glommy bear nails i love the way they came out they look super springy and i can't wait to show you guys how i created them so we're just jumping right into the tutorial today i'm going to be applying these uh, louis vuitton foils to my nails first um, i'm not going to apply any color down on the tips of my nails because the base on these foils is white so you really don't need to um, i'm just kind of like mapping out like how much i need on the nail i'm cutting a little extra just in case i want like to move the foil around and position it a certain way on my nail um, i'm using some mccart foil gel i don't really like this one um, because sometimes when i use it um, i get like little patches in my foils i like the one in the square bottle better but for some reason that one is expired the one that i have so it's not working that great so i'm just going to use this one for now um but i am like covering the foils up with some glitters anyway so if i do have like little patches it's not really gonna matter because i'm putting glitters over the top of this um just to like add a little something instead of just having these foils so after you cure the foil gel for 60 seconds you want to place the foil on your nail and kind of like burnish it in with a silicone tool or your finger um, do it really good um, and then the foil should start like peeling off the nail on its own and then you can just remove the backing um, like i said i'm doing the best that i can to transfer them but like i said this foil gel is not the best um, but we're making it work um, sometimes you can stick the foil back down if like part of it didn't transfer i'm not too worried how it looks like up towards the top of the nail because i'm just doing an ombre so that part's going to get covered up anyway it's really what's on the tip of the nail but as you can see i'm kind of like peeking and looking to see uh what transferred and what didn't um so i kind of like put it back down if i need to uh, fix it or whatever um, but after a certain amount of time it won't transfer anyway but it is what it is like i said i'm putting glitters over these um so it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see the little tiny patches um that's what i hate about that one transfer foil gel i get that a lot with that one but the one in the square bottle is bomb but for some reason i can't find it by itself on their website um it is in like a little kit i don't know if they're like sold out or if they don't have it anymore i'll try to find the square bottle one again and i'll link it in the description box but yeah i prefer that one um so yeah i'm doing the same thing on these nails trying to burnish in really good these silicone tools they help out a lot when you're doing foils um, it helps to like really transfer you kind of have to do it fast you don't want to wait too long um, because after a while the nail will stop getting tacky and it won't transfer so you want to make sure that you position the foil really good on the nail and then just immediately start rubbing it on the nail and then the whole thing should transfer pretty well that's another reason why i just decided to do one nail at a time because at first when i did um the two i noticed that the nails were less tacky um when i got to the second nail so i'm just doing um the other two individually because i feel like it stayed tackier longer um and the foil transferred a little bit better because when i got to the second nail i had to keep placing the foil down um, because I felt like it was just like a lot less tacky whereas when you do it like each nail with this foil gel um, you know it does a little bit better so now that the foils are on the nail I'm gonna paint over the foils with a gel top coat and cure it to provide a seal over the foils um, since I'm doing an acrylic set and I'm going to be encapsulating these nails and adding some glitters the monomer can kind of affect the foils and like make the ink bleed so you want to provide a seal over them so I did go ahead and apply some primer over my nails and now I'm taking a small bead of clear acrylic and some of this fine iridescent glitter and i'm brushing that over all the tips of the nails if i didn't seal the tips of these nails with the top coat the ink from the foil would just bleed everywhere and it would ruin the whole look 
um, so yeah make sure you do that if you're using acrylic poly gel you probably don't really have to do that um, because you know I don't think you would have that issue but definitely if you're using acrylic do that so I have some little butterflies um, I'm just picking up tiny beads of clear acrylic or just placing a little bit of clear acrylic on the nail and placing these butterflies on the nail um, because I wanted like the nails to look a little bit brighter the colors on the foils were they're bright colors but I just wanted to add like a little more brightness to the nails and I feel like by adding these glitters um, it really helped and it gave like the nails more of a spring vibe these type of foils are kind of played out on their own I feel like but by adding like a little bit of glitter to them it gives it like a different look if you know what I mean um, so yeah it's not like so boring or like the same kind of look it looks more like springy and like happy and kawaii looking so yeah I really like the glitters and everything so I have some of these neon hearts too um, in different sizes so I'm also going to be adding those onto the nails um, you just don't want to cover up too much of the LV print you want to keep some of that showing um, because yeah obviously that's the whole point of the set is to have the LV print um, so you want to kind of like put the glitters like on the areas that don't really have um, you know shapes or like if you do have the little splotches you can use the glitters to cover them up um, so that's kind of what I'm doing but I'm still making sure that you can see the LV print so after you encapsulate everything it just looks like a bunch of glitters and like little LV symbols and stuff so it's really really cute Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the ombre with Jasmine Torres Queen Pink. So I'm applying my first bead like on the first half of the nail bed and then blending it down. Then going in with another bead above that and blending it down into the previous bead and into the tip. As you could see, you could still see a little bit of white because this pink is slightly translucent. 
so i'm gonna go in with another bead like right there where the tip and the natural nail meet and blend that over it and then you might have to add a bead or two just to kind of like get a better blend um you could still kind of see the white a tiny bit through the pink um but i'm not really too worried about it because i'm going to be applying bling to the nails later on so you're really not going to see that but just blend it like the best you can this white base on the foils is very like white so it kind of like shows through a little bit but it doesn't really matter because like i said it's getting covered up but i love the way these nails look with the ombre and everything you want to make sure you you keep your layers thin too when you're doing the ombre since we do have to encapsulate these nails you want to avoid like bulking up the cuticle area so just be mindful of like how much acrylic you're using but yeah they look so cute like once you do the ombre and everything like everything ties together and you can see like that little extra foil at the top just gets covered up so that part doesn't really matter you do want to make sure you place a lot of your glitters towards the tip of the nail um, and focus them there not too much up um, near the nail bed because they will get covered up um, with the pink acrylic or whatever color you're using so yeah just make sure most of the glitters are at the tip so that it looks really nice when you do the ombre Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nails. So I'm using Mia Secret Clear Acrylic as usual. Um, and I'm using that monomer that I mentioned in my last video. I'm still trying to get used to it, um, but it does set a little bit faster than the one I'm normally used to. So I'm trying to work with it the best that I can. Um, but yeah, I'm doing my three bead method as always and then just adding in acrylic if I need to. Um, sometimes some of the glitters might be a little bit big so you might have to add some more acrylic over them to make sure that they're covered but you want to make sure all of the glitters and everything are encapsulated so that when you drill or file later on you're not filing off parts of the glitter because you can see that in your end result so it's always good to double check you'll know if the nails are fully encapsulated if the entire nail looks matte and you don't see any like shiny parts popping through so the first bead i usually place on the free edge of the nail as you can see to build up the free edge and then the second bead i place it where the tip and the natural nail meet to start building the apex and the third bead is the cuticle bead which i also use to build the apex on this nail i only went in two beads um, because i felt like that was good but then i checked later on and i added in another one towards the tip because there was a little bit of a dip there um, but yeah normally i just use three beads and then add in acrylic if i need to just want to make sure that when you place your bead down you work with it until it's about set to avoid the acrylic from running off to the sides of the nail and widening the shape i kind of use my brush to pat the sides and the tip of the nail to keep the shape and i focus the acrylic in the area that i put it when i put my cuticle bead down i don't just place it right at the cuticle area because it tends to flood the cuticle area when you do that so i place it a little bit below the cuticle and like work it up um, and then start patting it in place that's how you avoid like flooding the cuticle area and of course you do always want to wipe the cuticle area anyway to make sure there's no acrylic on there because once it dries on the cuticles it's really hard to get off so you want to like make sure you clean your brush off really quick and then just wipe that area
so I'm gonna go ahead and start debulking my nails now I'm gonna use my drill on 18,000 rpms I feel like that's the best speed for like debulking it doesn't take off too much of the acrylic but it also um, gets the product down pretty good at a good amount of time um, without you sitting there forever um, so I always start around the cuticle with my drill bit. This is a medium grit ceramic drill bit. I use this one a lot. It comes with the drill that I use, um, the Melody Suzy MR5 nail drill. And this is also um, one of the Melody Suzy dust collectors, the pink one. Um, so I go around the cuticle area first um, and I always keep my drill moving to avoid like causing the drill bit to heat up against my nail. But I go around the cuticle and get that down really low first to seal around the cuticle and then I just kind of file over the rest of the nail. I go side to side down the nail um, and I file along the side walls um, and underneath the nail. I also use my drill to kind of reshape the nail a little bit just in case like you know the acrylic ran off to the sides and kind of like messed up the shape. I kind of use the drill to pre-shape the nails before I go in with my hand file. It just helps um, like with less hand filing in my opinion. Um, so yeah, you should always have your little hill for the apex and the sidewalls should be the thinnest part of your nail when you look down the barrel of your nail. Um, and then you should have some thickness towards the free edge of the nail. Don't make it too thin. Um, you guys can see better the structure of the nail when I turn my nail to the side. That's how your nail should look. And like I said, when you look down the barrel of your nail, you shouldn't see any bulk on the sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shape up the nails. So for this shape, I'm doing a long tapered square. So I'm taking the bulk off of the sides of my nails like I usually do. So you wanna hold your file straight and file along the sides and keep filing until you're satisfied with like how wide they are. You can also file over the surface of the nail. Sometimes I do that um, if I miss like a bump or something when I was using my drill sometimes I use the hand file to like 
further like shape up my nails or whatever. And then to taper in the tip of the nail, I hold my file at an angle, but straight at an angle and file in towards the tip. And that's how you get that tapered square look. Um, and you just like make sure that you alternate sides while you're filing your nails. This prevents the shape from coming out uneven as long as you're like alternating sides. Um, don't file on one side for too long because that's how you get like one side that's really taken in and the other side that's not. And then after you're done shaping up your nails, make sure you buff out the scratches. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my rhinestones. So I brushed some McCart rhinestone gel onto my nails and I'm going over that with some Nail Reserve LA No Wipe Top Gel. This is a combination that I use to apply my rhinestones if you're not familiar with my channel. So I basically place the rhinestones into the gel and go ahead and cure. So I'm just gonna be placing like some rhinestones going across um, the middle of the nail here like right where the tip and the natural nail meet um, I thought it was really cute I'm kind of like spacing them out a little bit um, to give it a different look um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure that and then I have these cute little glommy bear charms um, they have like little flowers on them um, and I'm gonna apply that to the ring finger nail and then some AB rhinestones around that but my camera actually cut off when I did that so you didn't see that part but I did apply some um, more rhinestone gel onto the nail and I applied some little AB rhinestones like around the bear um, and then I just did the same thing on the pinky that I did on these two nails but yeah that's pretty much all for this set I hope you guys like this set i love the way they came out let me know what you think of it in the comments don't forget to leave me a like i would really appreciate it if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you leave because i post nail tutorials and reviews every week so you don't want to miss out and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i'll see you guys in my next one love you guys